Hi there. In this video, I wanted to show you how to set up polar coordinates in GeoGebra. And you can see that when you enter a point, you start with five, that's a distance of five from the pole, and then just use a semicolon. And that tells you that the next, tells GeoGebra, that the next thing you're going to enter is the amount that you're turning, which in this case is pi over four. And I love that it also shows it in degrees. And let's do another point. Let's say I want to go three, but this time I want to turn pi over three radians. Um, I just type that in, three semicolon pi over three. And I can click over here on settings, go to settings. Under grid, on um, grid type down here, you can toggle to polar. And then I go to distance and type in twelfths because I can then see all those key angles in a unit circle. And I can also even enter in points, say I want to go six and then one radian, I just type in one rad and it does that automatically, right? 180 over pi, 180 over three is about 60. And um, I don't need to type the rad, right? If I want to type in just let's say five comma one, it assumes radians, but I can also um, specify degrees. If I want to go, let's say only two and then turn 20 degrees, I would enter a semicolon and then 20 and then space degree. Boom. And I think this is really useful. If you want to test out where the points are and how they function on the polar graph, you can do that quickly. And you can even toggle right back over to your, um, your rectangular grid, your Cartesian plane right here. All right. Thanks.